be with you. And with your spirit. Let us open our minds and our hearts for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So when the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven, and he took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good evening. So, ascension. Ascension. And going up to heaven. Uh, I remember before that uh, the Astros cosmonauts, cosmonauts, they went up beyond the skies. And then they were saying, we don't find God there. Because we, usually when we say, when up to heaven, usually we refer that the one up is heaven. But that is not heaven. Heaven, hell, purgatory, these are not geographical uh, terms. Uh, seated at the right hand of the Father, these are not uh, uh, geographical terms, these are rather relational terms. That's why when we say purgatory, what is purgatory? Yung in purga? <laughs> diba? Purga? Cleansing? Diba? Cleansing? Purgatory? Uh, that's why uh, when we say purgatory, those preparing, uh, those in the souls already, and uh, when we reach uh, 90, they would say, you are already PhD, preparing for happy death. That is not always true. We have here some people here already 90s. No? Still very strong. No? Not necessarily. No? So when we say uh, Jesus went up to heaven and then... Uh, the, in the first reading, the apostles were still uh, looking up, and then the angels went down, and then, why are you still, uh, nakatunga nga pa kayo dyan, maybe in Filipino, no? Why are you still there? When he has gone there, meaning to say, go, 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 and mission, and witness these two old nations. With the with the ascension of Jesus, our mission is started. No? Ascension, mission. That's the... Uh, because uh, why mission? Why mission? Why ascension? Ascension because he has already finished, uh, finished his, uh, his tasks. Now it is our task. Our task has started. That's why sometimes, uh, sometimes I do not want, uh, I do not want celebrating mysteries. When we celebrate mysteries, we try to put that into a frame, so that we can, uh, after Christmas, oh, we set aside Christmas, we set aside the. Uh, sharing Christmas gifts. We said aside Christ, sharing Christmas gifts. Christmas is already finished. When we celebrate New Year, 
we have New Year resolutions. It's already now, it's now January 5. No more New Year resolution. That's why those who are smoking, I will not smoke. It's starting New Year, New Year resolution. Then uh, January 5, smoking again. I know some people like that. And I was also like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why uh, I don't know that. <laughs> when we celebrate the self mysteries, we try to hyphen it and then we don't let it influence us. That's why many of us have already celebrated many mysteries of our faith and yet our lives remain unchanged. You see that? Every mystery that we celebrate is a challenge for us. It's a challenge for our transformation. It's not only information. Not only information. Mm, uh, usually, uh, the seniors, the millennials would say, millennials, seniors feeling millennials. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's senior moment, it's senior moment, they would say. No, I don't think it's a senior moment when, when you forget something. For example, there was this, uh, uh, this lady going in, in the middle of the staircase, like that. In the middle of the staircase. And then somebody stopped her. She said, am I going up or going down? She forgot <laughs> whether she was going up or going down. And then the other, the other lady there said, uh, Sana, it will not happen to me. And then when she knocked, come in! <laughs> no! Actually, it's not really, it's not really, it's not really being senior like that. It's really data overload. We have too many, too, too many datas. That's why uh, we were saying that there is now what we call dataism. Was that the dataism? Yeah. Too much data. We have too much data already that uh, our consciousness, we have already surrendered our responsibility, we have already surrendered our freedom. To this too much data. Anything that we need, Google. Google, Google, Google. All Google. Even this, uh, we have no lectionary, Google. <laughs> Isn't it? Now, when we, it's good because uh, without Google, without the internet, we will not be able to get this. We did that, but too much reliance on the internet, too much reliance on, on data. We have already, we have, started, we have stopped thinking, we have stopped reflecting, we have stopped uh, praying and contemplating. Ascension brothers and sisters, is an ascent in consciousness. Ascent in consciousness. Not not really relying anymore on not relying anymore just on the internet, on the cell phones. You see, sometimes we are too dependent already on our cell phones. That's why whenever you forget your cell phones. 90%, 99.99, you will go back to get your cell phone. But if you forget your husband, 99.99, you will not go back. Isn't it? You will not, hardly. You will even say, bagal bagal ko siya dito. Pagagalitan mo pa. And that's why most of you, 70% of you here, have left your husband in your homes. Isn't it? 
this way when we say it, uh, when we try to stop every morning, it's beautiful to stop every morning uh, to to listen to the word of God. Yeah, in the morning our, in our practice here, uh, in our practice here every morning, when in the in the breakfast table, we would listen to the word of God. And it is very, very, very powerful. And then, though we are uh, discussing many things, and then thinking of many, many things, when the Word of God has already gotten into our hearts, then keep on reflecting on that. Uh, time, time and space will not matter anymore. We will also be ascending in consciousness. Consciousness means to say that our, not only our awareness, not only intellect, but also our memory, also our emotions. In some way, Jesus has already, uh, when, when he ascended, when he ascended to the Father, Jesus when he ascended to the Father, that's the mystery of the Incarnation, that he became truly human. Truly human. And truly God. That's why when he went back to the Father, he carried with him our humanity. He carried with him our body. That's why the souls that appear to me, in some way they have a body. But not this kind of body. Mm. There is some spirituality and materiality converts. That's why when you die, you can you when you die, you can go anywhere without visa. <laughs> Your role will cease because we will not be needing uh, passports anymore. We will already have uh, uh, dual citizenship. Hmm? Multiple entry. Not, not the kind of dual citizenship that my friends usually would say. Oh, he is dual citizen. Why? Because sometimes he is, uh, sometimes he is a uh, he is Maria, but sometimes in the evening, uh, sometimes he is also Mario. So dual citizen, no, not that kind. Uh, the dual citizen that I mean is citizens here and citizens of the kingdom. Isn't it? Citizens of the kingdom. That's why being Filipinos, Australians, dual citizen, Free man, woman, man, doesn't really matter anymore. All of us are brothers and sisters. All of us are brothers and sisters with a father. Because our destination is not here. It's not in this earth. Our destination is to the kingdom. When we say the kingdom, it means a rel relational communion with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When we say, uh, when we go back to the Father, we go back like the prodigal son. Hmm? Even if we have seen many, many kinds of sin that sometimes unprintable, the Father will always welcome us. Welcome us back. Like the prodigal son. I would say the prodigal father. Because he would welcome us and restore to us our dignity. Restore to us our sonship, our daughtership, our being brother to Jesus. Isn't it? And our sinfulness reflected in our body, all of you will already run 
not really thinking anymore of your arthritis and osteoporosis. See? That's why when we die, dying, death is the absolute healing. Because when we die, we no longer feel all our sickness. When we die, that's why healing is holy, being made whole again, being made whole with ourselves. No more division between body, mind, spirit. No more, no more division between brother or son, sibling rivalry. No more. You can already forgive your uh, your manugang, your sons-in-law, who are or daughters-in-law, or you can already forgive each other. Once again. Uh, bring them to your to the to the communion of the Trinity. That is uh, that is ascension. But do not wait for that ascension later on when you die. No, start start from here. Start later on. Uh, I will not uh, later. Uh, I will procrastinate now. Because uh, I will not, uh, I will not do that. Because I'm pay this is painful. Go beyond your pain. No, I will not greet her because uh, last time uh, I had we have uh, re we don't have, uh, we have a misunderstanding between us. No, go beyond that. Now reconcile, isn't it? That is ascension. That is ascending in consciousness, brothers and sisters. And Jesus has empowered us already with the sending of the Holy Spirit. That's why you will be having many languages, learning many languages already, many languages, brothers and sisters. The language of forgiveness, the language of love, the language of saying, excuse me, saying, I'm sorry. Those are beautiful languages.